according to some of the recent CDC data, nearly half of high school students have persistent feelings of sadness. Yeah, another national study found that over 40% of college students report feelings of depression, while one in three report feelings of anxiety. Now, during this Mental Health Awareness Month, Chief Medical Officer of the Jed Foundation, Dr. Laura Erickson Schroth is joining us to discuss the challenges that are facing teens mm -hmm. today and sharing important steps that Jed is taking to protect their mental health. Thank you so much for having me on the show. It's really important what we're talking about and young people are really struggling right now. We're seeing that, for example, the percentage of young people uh, in high school who are reporting persistent feelings of sadness and hopelessness has increased 14 percentage points over the last decade and suicide is the second leading cause of death for young people 10 to 34. I think one of the most important things to talk about is a lack of social connection and community. So the Surgeon General recently put out an op-ed and report where he talked about an epidemic of loneliness in this country. And he said that, you know, uh, being socially disconnected has the health equivalent of smoking 15 cigarettes a day. And humans are social creatures. We really need to connect with others. We know from research that social isolation can lead to depression, anxiety, substance abuse, suicidality. And we know the opposite is true, uh, that if you connect to community and you feel part of the world, that your depression and suicidality decreases. And there are some warning signs we can look for in young people if we're concerned that something might be going on with them. The most important is to look for change. If you know the person in your life, you're looking for what are the things that um, are different about their behavior or their mood. Uh, for a lot of people, that means isolating, uh, spending more time alone, not being as interested in the things that they typically are interested in. Uh, eating or sleeping patterns might change, their mood might change, or they might become more irritable. They might not take care of their hygiene or might need missing assignments, or they might use alcohol or drugs more. And if you notice any of these things, you really wanna reach out and have a conversation. And then some tips for young people. So first of all, I wanna acknowledge that you're going through a lot right now, that the world is really different than it was in the past. And it's a tough time to be a young person, you know, with much of your life lived um, online and not as much social and community connection as we used to have in the past. So one of the things I say first is to build your community. You're um, a young person and you're figuring out who you are and what your identity is gonna be and who you jive with and what kind of um, people are your people. And you want to do that by exposing yourself to as many people as possible. So join clubs, um, dance, sports, um, get involved in things. And then find things where you feel like you're giving back to the world. And if you need anything, reach out for help. There are so many people who want to help you. For both young people and for parents, the Jed Foundation offers lots of resources on our website, especially for Mental Health Awareness Month. We have a specific page where we direct people to look for resources on building community and connection. That's at jedfoundation.org slash M-H-A-M, which stands for Mental Health Awareness Month.